Serena Sohara and I'm a professional sex toy tester. In this video I'm going to be talking about how to feel good naked. And to illustrate the point, I'm actually naked right now. <sighs> anyway, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about my naked confidence journey. I haven't always been body confident. I grew up in England and I think, I don't know about other English people, but in my experience in changing rooms at school, um, Whenever we changed, whenever we changed for PE class, um, I think it was quite normal to, to show your back to your friends, put a t-shirt on and then try and um, get your PE kit on underneath the t-shirt without flashing any nipples or any underwear to your friends. And I think people were quite, um, got quite good at this skill and, and you try to avoid eye contact with your naked or near naked friends as well. And, um, I guess nakedness just made everyone feel a little bit uncomfortable. There was always one or two people who let it all hang out, um, but that wasn't the norm, definitely not. Now that I live in Spain, my attitude towards nudity has completely changed. Now I live in Barcelona by the beach and all I have to do is walk down the road about 500 meters and I see a sea, or the Mediterranean Sea, but also a sea of naked flesh and lots of different types of bodies. And some of those bodies might you might categorize as perfect, but not, not most of them at all. There are lots of different types of bodies. And when you see lots and lots of different types of bodies enjoying the sun, enjoying the, the good weather, then you realize that being self-conscious makes no sense at all. Because if you're self-conscious, you can't enjoy your body. And I think it's important to realize that not everyone is looking at you as much as you think they are. So this morning I went to the beach, um, dressed and to have a coffee, and I wrote down um, seven of my tips, my personal tips, to feel good naked. And here I'm going to share them with you. The first step to feel good naked is gratitude and acceptance. It's really important to accept the body you have and be grateful for it. Don't focus on your flaws or the parts that make you feel self-conscious. Focus on all the wonderful things that your body does and all the wonderful sensations that your body provides. But that's not easy at all. But acceptance is not something that you can do just like that. It's a process as well. And how can you do that? Well, just, I don't know really, just accept it. I think you have to accept that this is the vehicle you have in life and um, that's just it. Just accept it and love it. Something that's really helped me to feel good naked is self-care and by self-care I mean eating healthily. I love eating healthily. Vegan food is my passion and I've, and I've never been on a diet. I love eating lots and lots of healthy food. Also I think it's important to work out and be active because the more you work out um, it's not just about how you look but it's also how you feel when you can carry heavier bags of shopping and even if you're having sex you can do way more things you can go on top and and your legs are stronger or even if you uh, go on top with it and, you're, and you've got more upper body strength and um, to do it on all fours i mean sex is just so much better when um when you're fit i mean <laughs> so being in shape not only increases your body confidence but it also helps you to enjoy your body more the third point which I think is really important is actually being naked frequently. Here in Spain in the summer it's quite easy just to wander around the house naked because the temperature, well, is too hot for clothes a lot of the time. And I just think the, the I think if you are naked frequently then you get used to the sensation or the sensation of a little bit of breeze against your naked skin you think, wow, doesn't that feel so wonderful? And you're not thinking about what your belly looks like or if you've got some cellulite. You're thinking more about the sensation and I think that's really important. I also think it's a great idea to sleep naked because there's nothing like feeling your naked skin against cotton sheets. Wow! And if you enjoy the sensation of being naked, then you're definitely going to feel better naked in general. I also think it's a really good idea to sleep naked with your partner and get used to that skin on skin contact. Wow, it's so hot. So naked cooking, naked cleaning, oh yeah. <laughs> Just make sure your neighbours can't see. Although self-confidence comes from within, I think it's also really important to have a supportive partner. I know in the past I've had some partners who have 
always um, tried to put me down when I put on a bit of weight or told me. I had a, my last boyfriend I had used to say to me, when's it due, when's it due? And pointing at my belly and I used to feel so, so, so bad. And after he said that, which was quite often unfortunately, I did not feel like getting naked and having sex with him at all. However, I've had other partners who've been like cheerleaders, partners who, when their hands are all over me, I just feel like the most beautiful woman in the world. And I think it's really important to have a partner who is your cheerleader and not someone who puts you down. And that's a great way to feel great naked. As well as sleeping naked and cooking naked and feeling the breeze against your skin and all the wonderful sensations of your naked body, I think that masturbation is a great way to start loving your body and understanding how good your body can make you feel. Well, I am a professional sex toy tester, so I would say that. Something that's been incredibly empowering for me is taking naked selfies. I often take naked selfies for my Twitter account or my website and they're all without Photoshop and no filter and I'm really passionate about sharing natural images of my body. Of course you have to be very careful about who you send your naked selfies to but for me it's been a massive confidence boost to, to be able to take photos that I find aesthetically pleasing of my own body and photos that I find artistic and, um, and, and yeah I just love it. <laughs> If you're gonna take naked selfies, you have to be very careful about who you show them to and what you do with them. And finally, something that's really helped me is my ego death. That sounds quite serious, but I've been going through a spiritual awakening for the last year. And for me, um, my ego death has meant that um, I no longer feel um, associated with my naked body. Um, my body is not me and I am not my body. This is just my vehicle for this life. That's why I think it's really important to look after my body. I want my body to be a canvas of my orgasmic lifestyle message. And this has completely transformed my attitude towards my body. So I realized that being naked is no big deal at all. Ever since my ego death, whenever I take an erotic selfie or a naked selfie now, it's not about do you think I look good or, or about the likes or the followers. It's more about my message about self-care, no, um, no filters, no Photoshop, vegan lifestyle, no diets. And that's exactly, that's what I want to focus on. It's not about my own vanity because because there's nothing more natural than a naked body. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you to feel good naked. Thanks for watching.